Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, and today we will be reviewing Marvel Legends Thor, as in Thor from Asgard, and he can go like, for Asgard! With his trusty Mjolnir. It's a weird Mjolnir, but he's got Mjolnir in hand. But yeah, that's a pretty neat figure. I think it's based on that Marvel's Ultimate Spider-Man episode. But he's Thor. I'm not going to be nitpicky about good old Thor here. But before we get down to the comparison, let's look in our box. Transformers Legend Series Marvel Thor Strike. So yeah, nice product shot of Thor with Mjolnir in hand. And some nice artwork on this box, for sure. Get all these other figures, you can build Hulk. I just haven't found these other ones to build Hulk, but for now, I'm fine with this Thor. But now we're done with the uh, box. We're done with the box. So, yeah. Now we look at Thor himself. His accessories. He's got an extra hand. The only reason I hold on to boxes is to hold on to the accessories. And this is the Top Hat Thor. Top Hat Hulk. Why not? From that alternate universe. Kind of cool. In a sense. But I don't want to lose these pieces. So they're going straight back in the box. For safekeeping. So. Now we can look at Thor himself. And he looks. Amazing articulation on this figure. Is really good. Really good articulation. <laughs> He's got some. Huge muscle biceps. So you can be like. Ah, with Mjolnir. Get him in some dynamic poses. And his head is on a ball joint, but it's a really tight ball joint. And you don't want to break a figure you've got, got for your collection. Well, that's all there is to say for the articulation. Let's get down to comparison. Yes. Because I want to compare all my other Avengers with this figure. First on the list, we got Spider-Man, Black Widow, and this is bigger than a four-inch figure, so quite up there, bigger, but he'll do for my collection. Black Panther, Iron Man, why not? Good old War Machine. Never go wrong with War Machine. And Captain America. Why not? I love some Avengers toys. But this is my Avengers add-on to my Marvel collection. Oh, and this little Hulk figure. He comes up to Thor's legs, which is a shame. He's not a very big Hulk figure, and he comes up to Thor's legs. Oh... Mini Hulk. Mini Hulk. Why not? I need to get a bigger one, for sure. But now we're going to show off how many Avengers do I own this year. We got Thor at n number one. Captain America. Iron Man. Black Panther. Spider-Man. He makes six. Black Widow. Seven. And War Machine makes eight. So we own eight Marvel Avengers in my Marvel collection this year. And I only need to find the rest of them to complete my set. I need a Marvel Avengers Hulkbuster. Need to find... I want to find that. Uh, I want to find Scarlet Witch and Vision... 
and Falcon. And we need a bigger Hulk than this, for sure, too. I want a bigger Hulk than that. And last but not least, we need a Hulk Buster Iron Man suit to go in this collection. But otherwise... We have quite the Avengers collection as of this year. And I really like this Thor. He's really well painted, really well sculpted. I am definitely keeping him in this Avengers team for a very long time. Unless I find a more cartoon accurate Thor. But for now, he's going to be part of this team for a very long time. And I enjoyed doing this review. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.